I'm taking you on a walk in the Howgill Fells. We're going to walk up beside that waterfall to the top of the picture and onto the fell top. The Howgills are an area that lies between the Yorkshire Dales and the Lake District. And because it was a very hot day, I was quite keen to find somewhere that wouldn't be too busy. And the Howgills were just such a place. We're now nearing the top of the waterfall, superb picture there of a classic glacial U-shaped valley. We're quite high up here, about three quarters the height of a major Lake District peak, and it was very hard work getting up to that point, uh, Jenny needing a lot of stops in particular. We've now gone past the top of the waterfall and, and are continuing across rough ground uh, to the, towards the summit. You can see there what an empty place it is. Wonderfully quiet, in fact. I really enjoyed the walk. And when we got to the summit, we came across a surprise tarn, which will make a good spot to camp beside. Not that we were considering doing that on the day of our, our, our visit. Wonderfully blue water as well there. And then literally about 100 yards away from this tarn was the trig point. Bertie, of course, had to climb to the top of it. Not something I could manage now given my inflexibility. The Howgills are very distinguishable because they're very uh, flat, uh, sort of smooth hills uh, without any trees or anything on them. Quite an unusual landscape. Wainwright likened them to a herd of sleeping elephants. Certainly not an area that you want to get lost on on a wintry day because some of the paths are a bit lacking but there was no such problems uh, in the conditions we were walking. We're now starting the descent down a spur of the hill. The kids are much quicker at descending than I am. You can see them, well, probably can't actually, but they're in the middle of that path, in the middle of the shot there, some distance ahead of me, but eventually I managed to catch up with them, and there they are. It was a very warm day, so we were glad of what we call three splash stops. In other words, where the path crossed a stream where we could cool down and replenish our water bottles. We finished the walk with fish and chips and Kirby Stephen in this particular location, which we chose because it was sheltered from the sun. It was actually a strange Greek temple which was built in the 1820s um, with money from the will of a former Royal Navy purser. He built the place to provide a shelter between the marketplace and the church. And just outside the shelter, I came across this plaque to Wainwright to commemorate a walk he made up to this town in the pre-war years. <laughs> 